you know, I, I can tell you right now that the 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 uh, the WWE hardcores disagree with you, Rich. This is at a nine point zero eight oh. on the old cage match for oh Backlash God. Brands. Come on, isn't that absurd? That's like absurd. I mean, come on, what are we? Come this on, have a, some objectivity. Yeah. Like th- th- this is this. The thing was the crowd helped us show a lot. Where we had, and we talk about this all the time when we review these WWE pay per views that. A lot of times you have these current American WWE crowds that love the entrances, love the catchphrases, love all that sort of stuff. Then the bell rings, and then it's silence. This didn't have that. This had a crowd that was still making noise throughout the matches, was doing chants, was singing along or whatever. At times, they just they were just kind of singing to sing. You know, I mean, they weren't really reacting to the match that was happening in front of them. Other times, they were, you know, reacting to the match and doing boo yay, boo yay, and 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 you know, just just depend. Like they were all they were all in, and they all kind of. But the one thing I was going to say about that is, while the crowd was more energetic, and that obviously helped, and it maybe it helped the show feel like it was you know not a, a complete slog. The work in that middle portion, like you're saying, it didn't rise to the occasion of the crowd. It's like last year's Backlash show was in Puerto Rico, and we talked about that show. I love that show. I thought that was a really, really good WWE pay-per-view because it had an insanely good crowd, and the wrestlers felt like they worked off the crowd. They fed off that crowd, and and you had a show that genuinely felt hot as hell with wrestlers that were like, oh, man, this is this is incredible to be in front of this this crowd or whatever. And this, you had a very good, very energetic crowd, but everybody just kind of did the same thing that they were going to do. Damian Priest and Jey Uso just did the same match they were going to do, whether the crowd was hot, bored, doing nothing, saying nothing, cheering, chanting. It it didn't matter. They were just going to have their match. Bailey, Naomi, Tiffany Stratton, same thing. They just had their match. And we'll talk about the women's tag match in a bit. That very clearly had a template, very clearly had a a structure. And then Cody and AJ are two great wrestlers, so of course they would go out there and have a great match. And, And the opener, too. Those guys... Did you know the easiest trope that you can do? The easiest you know way that you can get over in WWE is you just do a street fight where you just brawl in the crowd and you go through tables and that sort of stuff. And that's going to work every single time for every single one of their audiences. That's going to work.